launch yourself into space. Or the ceiling. Impressive that such an old structure would be in this shape after over a hundred years. the assignment up here, we were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh, just got word that she passed. It would seem that the occupants left the in a hurry. Hopefully for no I, reason uh, we need to be concerned about. I won't be able to go to the funeral. Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. Before we are discovered. Yeah. 
chair really is something. Okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there, I'm a scientist. Deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. <laughs> it's not a great opening line. <sighs> you seriously can't get a date? You're an astronaut. Hey, no one asked you. You ever get jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard, building the actual vessels that are going to travel the stars. We're literally on a base on the moon. Oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that?
Perhaps an elevator will allow us to access what lies beneath all this dust. Joints, lowers reaction times. <laughs> 